In case mom really does go crazy and says no TV, we should make a cardboard decoy TV for the living room and we'll put the real TV in my room. Um, my room? My room. Okay, we'll put the TV in the middle of the floor and let it come to who it likes best. Ah, homework! Yeah, my hands are so sore from doing all this homework so well. And my butt is sore from all of my homework farts. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, great. Are you chewing gum? Since when do you have gum we don't know about? Did you get anything good at the restaurant supply store? Maybe some fun aprons? Oh, um... Apron fashion show? First of all, even if I did get some good aprons, you kids are in trouble, so no apron fashion show. Boo. And second of all, um, there wasn't anything good at the store, so I got some gum to cheer myself up. And now I'm going into my bedroom to get something, and I don't want you to follow me. I like new gum dad. He's in charge. You made a big mistake putting me in here. A big mistake. Pretty woman big. Not that I do pretty woman stuff. My lawyer's gonna be so mad. What's your lawyer's name? John Lawyerton. John Lawyerton. I've heard of him. He's good. Oh! Oh, there's Sergeant Bosco. He'll vouch for me. You'll see. He knows I'm good for the money. Sergeant Bosco! Linda Belcher. What are you doing here? It's all a big misunderstanding. I was on a power walk and I got a ticket and I don't have my purse or any ID. Yeah? What'd you get a ticket for? Nothing. It was nothing. It, it, was, it was no big deal. Public defecation. Oh, dear Lord. No, no, please. It was the cayenne pepper and maybe the flax. I don't know. Oh, but come on, Bosco. You know me. I thought I knew you. Public poopers are just, ugh, I mean, this is a society. There are rules. I know, I know, I say that all the time. It's just the worst. Well, what about murderers? Uh, murder is bad too, but at least it's not pooping outside like some kind of psycho. Sergeant Bosco, hey, come back, it was an accident. That went well. Come on, secret emergency money underwear drawer. Nothing. So many holes in the underwear. Why does she keep these? No. Oh. You looking for mom's secret cash stash? Hey, I told you not to follow me. You look like a different guy from behind. Huh, what's this? I owe you $7? Love, Linda? Why would she write herself IOUs? Because she's on it. Dad, what's happening? Why do you need emergency money? And where's mom? She should be back by now. What's going on? Was mom taken and you need to pay her ransom? Should we call Liam Neeson? Do we need some Neeson? I bet he drives a Nissan. Huh, 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 huh. Huh. Tina, kids, calm down. Everything is okay. Bull duty. Give us some answers, old man. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, she was on her walk. Your mom got a ticket, and we have to go pay the ticket, but I don't have enough cash, and the banks are all closed. Mom got a ticket? Yes. It's just a ticket, so she's fine? Phew. Tina, I know this is a little awkward, but you don't have any babysitting money, do you? Like $18? I'll, I'll pay back tomorrow. With interest, 50%, I get half. Tina, let's do this. I don't have any. I spent it all on Boys For Now perfume. Pituitary by Boys For Now. It's nasty. I think I have an idea of how to get some money. Wait a minute, what did mom get a ticket for? I promised her I wouldn't tell you. Jaywalking? Walking way too loud? Did her boob fall out again? No, wait, her boob fell out? At the store once, she didn't notice for a while. She's fun. Was she trespassing? No. Carjacking? No. Flapjacking? It shouldn't be illegal. No, look, the reason she got a ticket was not that big of a deal, but I promised I wouldn't tell you. Why are we stopping here? Time to say goodbye to an old friend. Is that a panini maker? It's my CD player. It's the only thing that truly gets me. So as you can see, it's it, it's in great condition. Mm. I paid probably a, a lot for it, and it, it has the cassette thingy here that you plug into the dashboard, which is basically magic, and the CD goes there. Oh, it, it has skip protection, by the way, so rest easy. I, I could let it go for $40? I'll give you five bucks for it. What? Are you crazy? CDs are coming back in a big way. I'm young and hip and I can vouch for that. So am I and so can I, daddy -o. Five bucks, take it or leave it. 18, final offer? Let me handle this, dad. Hey, give my dad $18 for his old man music machine. I'd listen to her if I were you, mister. She seems loco. Mm, no. Well, I tried. Oh, okay, that didn't go great, but at least I didn't have to lose you to that mean man. What are we gonna do now? Well, your parent-teacher student conferences start in half an hour. <sighs> I guess there's one other thing we can do. Tell us what mom did. No. Hello, Teddy? I deserve this. I was supposed to be getting fitty in my 40s, but instead I got poopy in the park. I'm a bad person rule breaker. No wonder the kids all got detention. Look at what kind of example I set. They'll never respect me again after this. They probably don't want to come because they won't be able to look me in my public pooping eyes. That's why they're taking so long. What are you in for? Attempted to sell drugs to a state trooper. You? Public defecation. Oh. 